up, man? I'm out here chilling with my homeboy, Cholo One. And let's get ready to my bang. My bang. Mis pancicos, ustedes pa' un minute. Juan, primeramente, saludos y respetos going out to everyone. I got some good news. I got some very, extremely good news. And I hope that you want to like it. I hope that when you want to hear it, you guys start generating all that positive energy, shooting my way. And that's a boomerango, because I'm going to shoot it right back at you as soon as I receive it. Simone and she. Now, but trip out though. Best thing that's ever happened to me in the in, in, in my life. I am now a proud member of the union and I do have a job, a uh, steady job in the union. Uh, nevertheless, due to COVID, due to COVID, I don't have COVID, but somebody in the group has, has COVID. We had to stop working, and uh, but that's the good news right there, bro. That's the very, very, very good news. But trip out though. Right before Christmas, I lost the spot where I was staying at, and um, so I've been looking for a new spot ever since. I'm here and there. I am here, there, and everywhere. Um, nevertheless. You know, it's pretty hard to find a, a a stable place to live at when you don't have credit. Goes back to uh, being a, 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 a ex-con or whatever you want to call it, you know. Uh, so I'm going to have to work on that next. I'm going to have to build my credit. Um, I'm going to have to start saving money for times like this because, you know, I didn't save no money and so I had to stay in the car for a few days, you know, and it's all good though. <clears throat> Aside from that, look. Christmas was all right. I was kind of broke. I didn't have a Christmas tree. So I did offer to steal one. Nevertheless, my people told me not to do that. I don't have to stoop that low. We just not have one this this year, and uh, we'll wait for next year, better times, you know. So, um, anyway, so I'm chilling, right? I was I was over there chilling in um, in the fields. Tu sabes, there's a lot of fields over here, as you can see. And I was chilling in the fields. It started raining. Unfortunately, my car got stuck in the mud. I couldn't get it out. I was right there digging and digging and digging for like three hours. Keep in mind, one turned to two, two went to three, and by the time I knew it, it was already four, and I had to be at work, bro. So, anyways, so uh, somebody let me borrow some money. I ended up calling the grua. Hey, let me tell you, dog, those gruas are no joke. Call me the tow truck. They will charge you a lot of money. They will not negotiate. They don't care. It's a business, I understand, but they will not negotiate, bro. So they charged me 200 to get it out. And then, um, so that happens. Uh, and then, uh, that was like maybe like two or three days later. Uh, I leave to work, I get a flat tire, and I was kind of like in a a little far from work, you know, so uh, uh, when I was trying to get out my car from the from the field, um, I left the jack right there, huh? So, man, I look in the trunk, no, I don't have a jack, and I got to call the grua once again. Luckily for me, I had just got paid, so I paid 150 for the grua once again. He came and changed the tire, and then... Um, I put the spare tire on it and about three or four miles away from work, it pops. It just popped like, boom, it blew up. And I was just like, damn, homie, that's some crazy ass luck right there, dog. So 
it was either get off, try to fix it, try to find a ride, or just just go drive it all the way to work like that. So guess what I did? Guess what I did? And guess what I did? I drove it to work like that. I pulled up to the yard homes. When I pulled up to the yard, I didn't have no more rim. It was like a low, low, straight up. My coworkers seen it. They grew uh, a different level of respect for me. They say that's determination right there. Like they told me, why, why didn't you uh, just not go to work? And I told them, I can't afford not to go to work. I gotta find a place to stay. And due to that, I'm gonna get to work by all means necessary. Also, yeah, bro, car troubles, homie. First in the fields, it gets stuck, you know? Uh, and then I get two flat tires within 10 miles, the same day, within the same hour. So, you know, uh, that's the bad news. But like I said, the good news overrides any type of bad news there is. And I want you guys to stay positive. I want you guys to follow the channel, turn on the notifications, anything pops up. I know there's a lot of a lot going on right now, the clubhouse. One of the homies, Tres from Compton, shout out to Tres from Compton. He uh he made it to a uh, to World Star. If I'm correct, he made it to World Star. He's been uh he pretty much went viral for the past week or two. So uh, we got we, we we probably gotta do a part two on that, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot to talk about right now. So please turn on the notifications, um, drop a comment, drop a comment. Viva la raza! You guys know how we do it. We do have a job, so everything's gonna be all right. So you guys have a good one, homeboy. Huh?